Hello, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We are the Crafty Lumberjacks, and this is the new addition to our family, our cat. You know, the new year is here, and we always like to try new skills. So today, we're gonna try to make our own almond milk and oat milk. So we've been doing some research on the interwebs, looking up different uh, recipes for almond milk, and yes. we finally found one that we really liked mm -hmm. from... From the Minimalist Baker. And we tweaked it a little bit to our liking, but yes. this is kind of her recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is take a cup of organic raw almonds and soak that in filtered cold water. Cover it till all of the nuts are completely soaked. So That's we'll it. cover it and we'll let it set overnight. Lucky for you, through the magic of YouTube and television, we have some nuts that we already pre-soaked. They kind of plumped up a little bit and now we're just gonna uh, pour this through a strainer. Juicy nuts. <laughs> they are like stuck These in are there. some large almonds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna blend all our ingredients together. We're gonna start with our cup of almonds that have been soaked overnight. We have four cups of filtered water here. The recipe calls for two dates, but we don't like our almond milk sweet, so we're just gonna add one date and a little pinch of salt, just mm -hmm. to bring out the flavor. And then the recipe calls for one teaspoon of vanilla extract, but we always get the unsweetened from the grocery store. Again, we don't want it too sweet, so we're just gonna do like a tiny little drop, hopefully. And then we have to blend it up for two minutes. So we're gonna start low and then work gradually go, yep, work our way up. It's finished blending. As you can see, there's some pulp in here, so we're gonna strain it in a nut bag. As you can see, it's a fine mesh, so it really gets all the liquid out. Pour it right in. If you don't have a nut bag, you can use a fine strainer or a couple layers of cheesecloth even. You could also put some paper towels inside of a mesh strainer, and that would work too. Oh, I washed my hands, by the way, just so, just so we're all clear. And then I guess the fun part about this is you can make like your own chocolate milk, you can make your own, yes. if you like uh, a fruity milk, you yeah, can you add can some berries, berries or strawberry milk. You can use the almond pulp as, I think it makes a gluten-free substitute for baking. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna uh, pour it into an airtight container here. It stays fresh or good in your fridge for about five days. A beautiful color, it looks really creamy, it smells delicious. Special delivery. Now we're gonna try some oat milk. We don't drink oat milk regularly, but it is totally a fad right now. Yes, and uh, the greatest thing about this is you don't have to let it soak overnight. You only need to let it soak for about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, so um, we're using a cup of rolled oats and we're, we soaked it in filtered water, just like the almonds. Exactly. And it's pretty much the same process. The only thing with the oats are uh, you don't want to overblend it because if you overblend it, it gets too gummy. Now we're going to add the oats right into the blender. So we're going to do a pinch of salt, one date, and again, a pinch of the organic vanilla extract. All right, and four cups of filtered cold water. You can do less water and then you have a creamier, thicker milk. Now it's time to blend it up. We're only gonna do this for one minute, the same as last time, from power one to power 10. Get your bag ready. So is this an oat bag now? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just gonna bottle it up again. It will stay uh, in your fridge for about five days. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Remember, did you ever get like milk jugs delivered when you were a kid? No. I'm dating What am myself. I, 70? Oh. <laughs> did you get milk? Yeah, we had milk delivery. Only on Long Island. <laughs> this I'm is excited. the almond milk. <clears throat> mm. We'll just do one glass. Let's swirl it. You can definitely tell the difference between this and store-bought. If we were having like a brunch. Right, and we're like, we made oh, our we own, made our own, own yes. milk. Like, perfect. <laughs> I've only had oat milk in our coffee, like in our coffee shop. Hey, he wanted some milk. It's good. Okay, let's try it in our coffee. Good, the almond milk is really good. Okay. The oat milk is okay. Wow. I could be into the oat milk, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the almond milk. What about you? I think I like the almond milk better. Done. 
Wow, we have a winner! Well, that was much easier than I expected. For sure. I, I would recommend for you guys to try it. We wanna know in a comment below what skills you're learning this year. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.